everyone, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I'm getting my numbers confused. I think in two videos I said welcome to Vlogmas Day 4, which it wasn't. I think one of those days were really supposed to be five. Um, it's a little bit later on and the day tonight I'm going to be doing kind of like a uh, my evening routine, what I do to like uh, uh, unwind, get relaxed, take a bath, what kind of like skincare I use during nighttime. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you how I unwind in my evening routine. So if you want to continue to watch that, stay tuned. I would turn on my Christmas tree light, but at the moment, the outlet that is right by our Christmas tree is broken. So we won't be having any Christmas tree lights for tonight. I'm sorry about that. Okay, usually I like to light a candle or else I take a bath. And this candle here that I'm using is the, I want to say it's like the Sugar Plum Fairy where it's like a cotton candy, bubble gum, like very sweet scent. And I have it in my Bath and Body Works candle holder that someone gave me as a gift last year. Today I'm going to be using like a Lush bubble bar. I think this is like a new scent they had this year. Sorry, the camera's so low, I have to bend down. Um, it looks like a lightning bolt and it's a bubble bar. Usually every thing I get is always a bubble bar. I don't like to buy the bath bombs because it's like a one-time use kind of waste of money. So I always like to get a bubble bar because you can like break it up and use a little bit at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and use some of this now. I think I'm just going to break the tip off use this much I think should be okay in the body wash I'm going to be using is my Bath and Body Works fresh sparkling snow um this one I'm about like halfway through this is my favorite scent that bath and body works does it is a ice pear frozen melon winter apple snowdrop blossom and frost frosted musk and sometimes when i'm taking a bath usually every single time i find mika creeping her way into the bathtub and she just watches me you're such a creep what are you doing now, if I'm feeling a little bit more in the mood, like I want to make sure I smell really good after a bath, I like to use this. It's a very sexy night like, silk shower oil. This one I really like because whenever you first like um, pour it out, it's like an oil, but then it slowly, or not really slowly, it comes to like an actual bubbly consistency very quickly. And it says oil to cream, body wash, this one doesn't really say what the notes are in it but this one is a very strong uh scent and i really like it mika's coming in and making her way into the bathtub okay mika so when it comes to my face wash uh the first face wash that i like to use if i'm wearing makeup i will use this first the cerave hydrating facial cleanser uh for normal to dry skin usually during the winter time i like to use this because my face is usually quite dry uh, if it's like summertime, there's like another CeraVe face wash that's like really popular that I've tried before and I like. I think it's the SA Renewing uh, Salicylic Acid one. That one I like to use during summer. This one I like to use during winter. But I only use this first if I have makeup on. And this is going to be the second face wash I use after or the first one if I don't have any makeup on. It's just my Curology cleanser. It's just a basic cleanser that they have. And the last face wash that I like to use is this Neutrogena Oil-Free Acne Wash Cream Cleanser. Now, I probably won't ever buy this again. It's just I had this left over and it's almost empty. I just wanted to like finish it up uh, and I didn't want to waste it at all. So I'm using it. Um, this one is probably like the first face wash I've ever used like growing up like as a teenager and it's always worked for me. Uh, lately it hasn't been working as well so after this is finished I probably won't buy it again. I forgot to mention uh, on days that my allergies aren't really too well or have like a sinus headache or whatnot I like to soak in a long hot bath with this 
it's the village nature or natural therapy cold and allergy bubble bath uh bold vapors this is lemon peppermint and menthol this one i run through these bottles like crazy because i like to use a lot it really helps like with my sinus like headaches and sinus pressure after my bath i like to use the same type of lotion which is a fresh sparkling snow one so same scent as a body wash um usually i never buy bath and body works lotion but because they had to buy three get three i just wanted to like get this in a lotion as well so like the scent of this one is like really strong coming off of my body because i really like this one. okay i have my hair pulled back now and like my bunny ear headband on uh usually when i'm out of the bath my face is like already dry uh, I use this once a week and now one a day. Today, Saturday. I like to use some Saturday. It's an ordinary like peeling solution, the red one, which I think everyone knows which one this is. Uh, I don't use a lot and I don't use it for a long time. I think I just like um, usually right as I get out of the bath, I like dry off my face and then I put this on right away and then like I'll put lotion in my body and then put on my clothes and then I rinse it off. But you know, for the sake of the video, I already have my clothes on uh so i'll probably just like leave it on for like a minute at most and i don't even use a lot either because this stuff like really burns my face and i have sensitive skin now usually whenever i use that it does dry out my face so i always want to make sure i'm using like a really thick moisturizer and like using a moisturizing oil and whatnot and with the um ordinary peeling solution i don't know if you're supposed to wash it off or rinse it off i usually because i use only a little bit i usually just like rinse it off uh because i don't want to rewash my face again with any type of soap or cleanser because i think it's too much on my skin um but if i'm using this like on saturday i don't use my uh curology what is this is this just like my my serum i usually don't use this uh, I'll use it like every other night like I when I get out of the shower I'll put this on and then my moisturizer and I'm good to go but because I know you're not really supposed to mix chemicals on your face I just don't want to go there so since I've used that one I'm going to use my Curology moisturizer though this is like the thicker one the rich moisturizer one this isn't like the um what is it like the other one that's like a gel this one, usually I use this one during the summertime. I have a little bit of this one left over from my last session of it. Because it wasn't, it's not like cold until now. Like during the summertime, that's when it gets cold in Texas. That's why only when I received my newest package, I went for the more like richer moisturizer. So I'm going to dot this around on my face. And because I use that peeling solution, my face is really dry. I use my Indie Lee, I have no idea how to say this word, facial oil, hydrate and renew. It's this one here. Well, I've turned on these lights here. And then my red, they kind of look like hot pink color in the camera. And I don't know why, but I have all these on. Usually it would have Christmas tree lights on, but that's okay. Uh, there's my husband, he's editing his video. Usually I would have this light on and this one's here. But at least, you know, these ones and that one, I think that's enough lighting for this evening. Usually around this time right now, wow, it's already 1046. Uh, usually Friday, Saturday, I get off work a lot later. So I usually like kind of eat in the car or I'll eat immediately when I get back home. But after work, my husband and I went to Walmart to pick up a few groceries, so I had already eaten dinner. So I'm just going to eat a snack. And I love eating fruit right as I get out of the bath because I need something, like, really refreshing. I don't know why. With this lighting, it makes me look like I have a giant forehead. Please ignore that. Uh, but I'm just going to eat some pomegranate. I always thought pomegranate was, like, a summer fruit, but I only realized, like, last year and this year, they only came out with pomegranate during the winter. Maybe it's always been winter time. And I've never realized that. But I'm just going to eat. I usually eat a lot in one sitting. So I'll probably eat like half of this. Not going to lie. I love to just like sit and just eat it. To me, it's like candy. So I just can sit with the spoon and just keep eating it, eating it, eating it. Um, 
I don't eat the seeds. I don't know. I think some people eat the seeds. I know one friend or one of my old co-workers, uh, she would like eat the seed and that really threw me off. But my husband and I, we don't do that. I don't think you're supposed to eat the seed. Like she never swallowed it. It's not like she sucked on it and it swallowed it. It's like she crunched down on the seed and broke it up with her teeth, which I don't want like all the pieces getting stuck in my teeth. It doesn't sound good. Cozied up in my bed right now. Uh, as you can see, I have Santa Claus 2 on yesterday or was the day before? I can't remember. My husband and I watched the first one. Uh, I was actually really happy when Disney Plus. Is it Disney Plus? Yeah, Disney Plus. I don't know why I forgot the name of the uh of the website. Uh what was the saying? So tired. Uh, I was so happy when they added all, like, a bunch of, like, Christmassy movies that I was wanting to watch. Because I was afraid that since no one else has it, like, Netflix, Netflix doesn't have it, Hulu doesn't have it. And if I wanted to watch it on YouTube, I would have to rent it. I don't want to do that because my husband might get mad at me for, like, renting a whole bunch of movies when I could be buying it. Which you could buy it on YouTube, but it just doesn't want me, like, buy a whole bunch. I'm only going to be watching it in the month of December. So, I'm glad Disney Plus has it. So... I think I have all three of them too. I'm just gonna wait for my husband to finish eating. Then he's gonna come back in the room with me and we're gonna cuddle, eat some pomegranate. And I think I might get on my popcorn. Um, my five dollar giant tin can of popcorn that Walmart does. Um, they have like five dollars, three flavors, butter, cheddar, caramel. I just love it. I love eating popcorn and watching movies. So yeah, that is my evening routine. Um, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And be sure to check out yesterday's video and come back for tomorrow's video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.